Hey y'all. So uh, today I got a bunch of flatware I've been picking up. They sell them in the bags too. Five bucks. Uh, I probably used a coupon, knowing me. <laughs> so what I do is just cut through it. So I get like uh, 65 cents a gram for silver and uh, you know, sterling. Uh, okay, so what's this here? Ah, sterling. Little baby spoon. Sterling, yay. Little baby stuff. Sterling, S. Kirk and Son. But, I don't know. It's, well, it's not engraved. It's not engraved. I can probably sell that. So let's see. Let's see what it's what we're weighing. Pounds, unit, grams. This 57 grams. Uh, what's this? I don't know what this is. It's got hallmarks, but uh, I don't know. What I do is I look here for um, where any high point this is where it would be worn so I'm gonna put it aside it feels right it feels right it looks right what's this um, here's another one here yeah that's that's something uh, this is just plate so I sell these for uh, like three bucks each here's another one of those it might be um, Nah, whatever. I'm gonna put it aside. These they mark usually up here. I oh, don't see. Inoxable. Oh, stainless. It's the same. It's the same in, uh, engraving here as uh, the other set. So I'm gonna put it aside. I gotta look them up. Sometimes they do them on the underneath, right along the seam. Okay. No, I didn't see anything yet. Let me see. Come on, baby. So, Rogers, Rogers, plate, plate. What's this one? I don't know what this one is here. But, it's a nice... I don't see it. Sometimes they mark them on the bowl, uh, French. They mark them on the inside of the bowl. So look there. Uh, obviously, look along the back of the piece. So I don't see anything here. That one looks good. Everything else says plate on it, or uh, you know, it's just uh, Rogers silver plate. Rogers. They're not shy about marking. If uh, if they are, so don't. Uh, and then, so what I I have a bucket at my uh, booth of uh, flatware. So like this thing here is just uh, it's plate, but it's you know it's a nice piece. So I, I, I you know I'll put a price on that Pl triple A plate right there. No, nope. Uh, IS International Silver, but it's not silver. Sometimes, yeah, see right here. Okay. So, this is uh, just base metal here, plated, but this little ferrule uh, on the uh, mother of pearl is sterling. So, I'll put that aside. That's a good, that's a good find. Yay. So, this was six bucks less, less coupon, whatever I used. So I'll, um, but I can sell these for like five bucks a piece, these big, you know, serving pieces, five, eight bucks each. If they're just base metal, if they're sterling, then obviously I can get more. Or coin silver, 800 silver. What's this one here? Uh, oh, here's that mark I'm telling you about. See right there? That's where it was sitting on the table rubbing over the years over the years and it wears here also it'll wear 
All right, there you see those two marks. Sometimes if that's the high point, it'll wear there, but you can just barely see it. Sometimes I'll go like this. <sighs> there, now you can just see it for a second. Okay, so that's plate. But still, these big giant, this is just English. These big giant ones I can sell for a little bit of a premium. I don't. I, I get more than three bucks, you know, for these big serving pieces. People want to fill out their uh, set. Okay, so here's three bucks for this one. Let's see what it says. But I saw some. It was mostly um, plate, but there was this one right there, baby. Sterling. And everything else is the same pattern and it's plate. So those go into my three dollar thing. So that's sterling. So just this one, so I paid th three bucks less. And what does it say? I can't read the name. Marita. Anyway. So 26 grams. That's about you know fifteen dollars in silver right there. Just this teaspoon. So sweet. Uh, let's get this. Um, okay, we got knives here. So knives, the blades are stainless. Um, sometimes the handles are um, sterling. This one had a necklace in it. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there, but that's sterling there. That necklace. Ah, they do that. 23. Not bad. Okay, so now here, right there, you can just barely see it. Sterling handle. One, two, three. And they got about five, six bucks worth of silver. This thing still has mustard on it. And then these, you can see the way this um, connects. It's not silver. They don't connect like that with silver. See here, this has this like, it's, it's crimped. That's, that's the way they do the silver ones. So this, uh, sorry, put it in the pile. Let me see what this one is. I don't know. I see a couple of, uh, they just grab fistfuls of this stuff and just put an elastic band around it. See the ones in there? They're um, either plate or uh, sterling. I can't remember if I saw anything. I I will buy them if, if they're plate because I can sell them. You know. So, what does it say? Russia. Rhode Island. They're just plate, but they're still... They're, um... What's this one? X11. So, what's this one? The American Silver Company. They'll, they'll say all sorts of stuff on it. And, but they're just plate, you know, Oneida community, on the A A1X. But it's still a main, it says on it. So, you know, I'll put that in my $3 bucket. Some, some you know, somebody from Maine will buy it from me. So um, you know, some spoon collector. God love them. They keep me in business. This one is extra. They, uh... Sorry, I don't want to rip it apart and hit the camera. Okay, so... This one's the only one that's possible. And... Come on. And there it is right there. Wallace Sterling. Right there. So, that serving piece. It probably has about eight bucks worth of silver in it. Uh, I'll try to sell it um, for more, but they're a tough sale. Thanks.